There's no time to explain, soldier. The aliens are upon us. Grab your rifle and get to the Sky Ranger pronto. Also, I forgot to mention, welcome to XCOM, and good luck. You'll need it. Hey, folks, it's me, Kikoskia, and we are here with Open XCOM in XCOM UFO Defense. This is the uh, warm up time. I did say that the. Uh, oh, good evening, uh, Scrooge McScourge. The, um, that the time to start would be 7 p.m. GMT. This is the uh, time so that people can get ready and assemble to go fight the aliens. I hope my day. You hope my day is going well? Indeed, it has gone well, and I hope yours is also going well, Demon Dragon. So, a few things to mention about this run of uh, Open XCOM. Hopefully, we're all not going to die horribly. Who are we kidding? It's XCOM. Hello, everyone. Greetings, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is for you. So, what we have is XCOM UFO Defense. I'm going to be playing it on the same difficulty that I did for the replay, because, let's face it, I got quite lucky with the uh, Hyperwave Decoder at that time, and we were able to quickly turn the tide on the aliens. The chances of that happening this time round are very, very slim. Hello everyone, hello uh, Diffum, welcome. Now, I'm going to explain now how the uh, recruitment is going to take place. And how uh, and what happens? There will be so many soldiers that can go into the Sky Ranger, of course. And uh, two of the names are reserved for me. I have uh, both names in mind for those uh, soldiers. As for the rest of them, it's going to be you. What we're going to do is we are going to uh, run the raffle program in the uh, chat to uh, pick a active user to be one of the XCOM soldiers. And you will be named, and you will fight the aliens, and you will more than likely die absolutely horribly, and then you'll be replaced by somebody else. If the name happens to come up twice, then we will then have uh, somebody cloned. Of course, uh, you have to have uh, died to then be cloned. And that's pretty much how that's going to go. I make no promises whatsoever that we are going to have anywhere near a successful uh, run of things, and there should be a poll for where we are going to build the first base. It should uh, appear in the chat at some point. I have not posted it up because... Uh, there it is! Matt's the poll! Go and vote for where the base will be. It is uh, a vote for the uh, continent or general area that uh, the base will be set up. I will then decide within that area where to put the base. You'll notice that uh, Antarctica is not there, and you'll notice that the islands off uh, the west coast of North America are not there. That is because I actually want to encounter some aliens at some point and shoot them down and do some missions. The poll is uh, still there, if you want to uh, vote in that, uh, by all means, it's still not decided yet. Once we get to the point where we set up the base, that is when I will take the results in. I wanted to start a little bit early to get people to flow into the chat. Into the stream, as it were. <laughs> oh, never mind. How is everyone today? I hope you're all well. You're not going to be well if you get enlisted into XCOM, that's for sure. You'll probably end up getting shot. And perishing. Glad to see that everyone is okay, from what I can see. Europe does indeed mean that we can get, um... Will soldiers be named after people from a chat? Yes, there will be a, uh, raffle, um, bot of sorts that will pick the names for the soldiers. I get two names for me. And everybody else gets uh, names dependent upon the picking with the raffle. The picking with the raffle, that is a great term, me. It is a terrible term. Plasma is warm. Plasma is exceptionally hot. It is very hot indeed. What setting do you want me to check? Uh, you are curious about a setting. I'm not going to be changing any of them uh, as it stands. Uh, the settings are as they are, but uh, I can by all means show you the settings. 
There are a lot of them. Advanced Battlescape Smooth Bullet Camera. Uh, smooth Bullet Camera is no! The Battlescape Camera will remain centered on projectiles while in flight. I like to uh, have the screen pan, as in, uh, not pan, as in uh, have screen, screen, screen. That's how I'm keeping that, uh, as much as possible, I keep things set for um, the default game. So uh, that is how it was in the default game, that is how I'm keeping. There are a few things uh, that I mentioned in the replay that I changed uh, to make things uh, a little bit uh, better, quality of life improvements. Let's just cancel out, and keep waiting. I'm curious to see how long we will last. I mean, we will last at least two months, because you can have the uh, first month of, you're terrible at this, and then the second month of, you know what, we'll, uh, we'll get someone better to do it. I'm going to keep it as it is, that uh, setting. Uh, I definitely want to keep it as it is. So many people. So many people. You, you'll you do fine. You've won this before. I have indeed won this before, because uh, I have played this a lot, but I've also lost a lot of times, and the last time in the replay I did get extremely lucky, as I said, because Hyperwave Dakota got discovered really early, and then, uh, then just things worked out in some regard. I was very lucky in some things. The uh, Chrysalid Terror Mission, where we took out the Chrysalid right next to a civilian, that was tense. Will I stream Terror from the Deep later? No, no I won't. Terror from the Deep is most certainly, uh, I'm still keeping that milestone for Terror from the Deep uh, in mind, that one that I've stated a number of times before. XCOM, Teaching People That Losing Is Fun Since 1994. I think the title for Teaching People That Losing Is Fun was long ago relinquished to Dwarf Fortress. Not an expert on that, but I'm pretty sure that is, uh, the, uh, reigning king, as it were. Hopefully no tanks panic today. It's not that Terror from the Deep has traumatized me, it's that Terror from the Deep is just built from the ground up to be unfair. It was built on the false pretense that the original game was too easy when there was a uh, coding error, and then they went, we'll just make things ridiculous, we'll make the average uh, base assault of uh, attacking the alien strongholds to be the equivalent of Cydonia. And even balance tweaks in Open XCOM won't entirely eliminate that. Yes, uh, the original um, XCOM uh, UFO Defense, after you did your first mission, the game defaulted to the lowest difficulty setting, if memory serves. You have, and um, to counteract that, they then made Terror from the Deep a lot harder. You have three part missions in uh, Terror from the Deep. Have you ever played uh, RimWorld? I have not. Have I ever played UFO Extraterrestrials Gold? I have very briefly. I didn't especially like it, so uh, I didn't play too much more. Yes, after the first Battlescape mission, uh, as uh, Cav2K quite rightly said. So, are we going to continue this? If people want me to continue this, I certainly will. I uh, fully intend to do so. If people want to see a continuation, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't be too bad to uh, have a whole saga of our inevitable and eventual loss. What's your opinion on the modern XCOM games? They're not the same as this game, but I like them. I, I found them to be quite fun. So I think we've got to uh, 7 o'clock, so it is time, I think, to select a new game. Is it not? Last moments to start voting on the starting location. Superhuman difficulty? No. I want to uh, have a fighting chance here, so we're going to be, as I stated uh, before, you might not have been here for it, uh, the uh, same difficulty as I did the replay in. We're going to be playing on experienced. 
Experience still has the uh, potential to absolutely destroy you. So, uh... And with uh, me selecting the soldiers and just uh, going with the uh, flow of uh, what I experience in the battlescape, we could still horribly, horribly lose. Good evening. Hello. Veteran would be better, but I'm sticking with experience. Ultimately, I want this to be uh, relaxed and enjoyable, and it's still going to be full of doom, because a plasma blast from out of the shadows will still kill you, and will I play on Iron Man mode? No, because if the game crashes and um, all sorts of stuff, uh, I will not be reloading the game. That's one thing I can promise to you, the game will not be reloaded, but I'm not selecting Iron Man mode just in case something terribly wrong happens. So, I think we're ready to press OK and begin. Hello everyone! Hello everyone. Let us begin. It is 1999, and strange sightings of unidentified flying objects have gotten the world spooked. Aliens are attacking and nobody is able to stop them. And the vote is clearly for Europe. Okay. Many attempts have been made to take out the aliens, and there was a uh, promising uh, organization set up in Japan, I believe, if the uh, manual, uh, what I remember of it is accurate, but they have yet to shoot down a single UFO. In desperation, the world leaders, the most powerful governments, form a secret military organization to fight the aliens, and they called it XCOM. We're going to set up our first base, and Europe is clearly the winner, so we are going to look at our options. I'm feeling like we should put it somewhere here. The uh, optimal place, of course, would be to put it here, so that you get a lot of Europe, you get a tiny bit of uh, the uh, North America region, you get uh, some of Africa, but I feel like we're going to put it around here. In fact, I, I feel like we are going to put it here. Round about here. Sound good? Scandinavia is a common spawn point for alien bases. Fair enough. We're building it here. Base name? Now, there are many ways that I could name this. I could name it from something from my LPs. I could come up with something completely out of the blue. Or alternatively, as somebody just suggested there, we could indeed name the base after a viewer. Why don't we do that? Excellent idea. So, let us get that uh, raffle thing going and see who it's going to be named after. It is going to be called Ultimac... Ultimac Nolden. Okay. Congratulations, Ultimac Nolden it is for the first name. Now, a uh, setting that was uh, set up for me in OpenXCOM is uh, that we get to build the base. Because what normally happens is that you get the default base, and the default base is awful. So, we're going to build a better one. We're going to put the uh, access lift right here. Now we have to put down three hangars, a living quarters, general stores, laboratory, workshop, and small radar system. First hanger will go here, the second hanger will go here, and the third hanger will go here. I'm going to put the general stores here, living quarters here, the uh, workshop will go here, the laboratory will go here, and the small radar system will go there. And time is automatically going, so let us go into the base. We have 4.14 million dollars. You'd think that wouldn't be a lot, but it is. To be eligible for name selection indeed, it's enough to just say something within 10 minutes. Let us look at 
all of the equipment we have after we look to our research. We have ten scientists available, and three choices, laser weapons, motion scanners, medkits. It's always a tricky thing to select the first bit of research. I always want to go straight for laser weapons, because at this stage, getting uh, medkits will just get me horribly killed. As in, fair enough, you could heal a wound, but it's more likely that the soldier is going to die anyway. Motion scanners to cheese the aliens? Oh no! No, we're not doing that. We're going with zappy pew-pews. We are going to allocate our scientists towards zappy pew-pew manufacturing. Eventually. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to look at the soldiers. After we get a few more people. We want a few more scientists. We want uh, ten more scientists, we want ten more engineers, and we want a few more soldiers. And that gives us the maximum amount of uh, allocation here. We have a Sky Ranger, we have some interceptors, we want a... Uh, we want a tank with a rocket launcher. That's what we want, and we want some rockets for this. Let us get... Oh, we actually don't have enough storage for that, so uh, let us uh, sell a few things first, because we don't actually want everything here. Does someone remind me if you can modify your soldiers in this? We can certainly modify the names, and that's what we're going to do. Let's look at what's on the Sky Ranger. The Sky Ranger can also be named, by the way. We have a rocket launcher on board already. Excellent. Uh, well, we don't have a rocket launcher on board. We're about to have a rocket launcher on board. Grenades, yes. Smoke grenades, definitely. They are very useful. Heavy cannon, nope. Don't want that. Uh, we want some rifles. Lots and lots of rifles. And a rocket launcher. Have I played Xenonauts? No. No, I have not. Okay, now we can sell some things, because we want some storage space. RIP in advance to all of this first wave of soldiers, oh yes. There's probably going to be a lot of people that are going to perish. Auto cannons with explosive ammo are hilarious, they may be at the moment, but right now I just want to stick with uh, uniformity and simple things. We shall move on and get uh, more stuff as and when. We also want to get rid of the cannons because uh, I don't want to uh, have my interceptors using cannons, so we shall sell all of them. Speaking of which, we should look at the interceptors and see what they have. Cannons! Let's uh, remove those and actually get some avalanche missile uh, launchers. We want some of those for sure. We want big rockets to blow things up with. Big rockets, so... We should actually uh, unallocate this one completely, and unallocate uh, the ones here, just to get the huge rockets. Kiko wants big boom indeed! And we shall get big boom. So, the uh, Stingray missiles will go, the Stingray launchers will go, the cannons will go, the uh, cannon rounds will go, Sell those. Normally, I actually, uh, when I play by myself, I only have one interceptor as well, but we're going to stick with two. So we want to uh, get a tank with a rocket launcher and some rockets. Definitely want those. That many should be sufficient. We also want some more rifles. That many. And some more clips. We want some large rockets, because we need some large rockets. And we actually need the avalanche launchers, don't we? Yes, we do. We need three of these and some missiles. We actually don't have enough room right now, but we will have room for things later. Ooh, we also have uh, all these things we can buy. Hmm, going to need to cut down on the rifle clips a bit, I think, if we're going to make room for more things like... Uh, the uh, smoke grenades. We're going to need a few more of them. That should probably... The reason why we have uh, no space right now, we only have one general store. We will get more general stores, not to worry. We'll buy. We also need to recruit those uh, soldiers, don't we? Yes, we do. Ten 
engineers, 10 scientists, 2 soldiers. Don't forget to hire folks. I've already hired as many as I can right now. Time to build some facilities. We want a large radar station. We also want another general stores. Right here. The reason why I have the uh, elevator here and the hangars is so that there is only one avenue of attack for the aliens. Should there be a base attack, and there's definitely not going to be one of those, there totally is. Okay, the soldiers that we have here right now. Okay, the first soldier we are going to have is one of mine, so I don't need to do the uh, poll for that or the uh, raffle. We can only have one person, and that is the ever-loyal, ever-brave, ever-dependable Paper Cup. Perfect. You will be the first of many great soldiers. And the second soldier will be somebody who unfortunately uh, cannot be here right now and who has made great art for the channel over many years, and that is, if I can uh, actually spell their name correctly, Alien Cabalian. Welcome to the squad. And now, we move on to the next person who will be from the chat. Do not worry, Nolden, if you, uh, if you are picked, we can easily uh, roll again. So, we need a name. Who's it gonna be, Raffle? Pondwater, is it? Is that the uh, confirmed name there, Cav2K? Were they the winner? Right, Pondwater it is for the first soldier. Now we need another eager recruit who is next to face Cindy Pool. Welcome to the squad. Next we have another recruit. The winner is Desponia. Let's uh, get Desponia here. There we go. Des Ponia. Congratulations! We have more names though. Greetings everyone. We haven't actually had any missions yet. We are still setting up. We have X7 Tech. Welcome. Congratulations. We move on. So who will replace Frederico Silvino? I wait eagerly. Daz Dardian. Aha! Here we go. Unfortunately, you have been uh, recruited. Congratulations. We have another name. Bahamut Zero Dragon. Let's get the name incorrectly. That is incorrectly, not incorrectly. I think that's right. Welcome. And I think we have everyone for now. We will get two more soldiers in a little bit. For now, I need to uh, make sure I have everything allocated to the uh, Sky Ranger. More grenades. Don't need more grenades right now. Okay. So what we can do now is pretty much the only thing that uh, we can do while we're waiting for things, and that is... Wait. We'll zoom out. This is the uh, range that our small radar station has. Let the uh, minutes tick by, and... Wait patiently for the aliens. Good luck, may the RNG be on your side. Oh, we're gonna need more than RNG. Oh, we're gonna need more than RNG. Open XCOM lets you rename the planes. Oh, that is a very good point. It does. Okay. 
we can rename the planes and the vehicles. So, at, le at least I think we can rename the vehicles, but, uh, ah, Leon 13DM. You are the Sky Ranger. What about Interceptor 1? What do we have? We have Sad Eva. Hopefully you will not be so sad that you will not strike against the aliens. And finally, the second Interceptor. te QB. You are the second one, just in case we need to launch another interceptor. If, by the way, an alien ship does appear right now, we have three whole missiles to fire. Oh, no, no, it'll be, it'll be fine. Don't worry. I'll uh, definitely send out the right ones. Those names are very distinctive. Aha! We have things that we can equip to the craft. Right, we want a few more rifles, and we want a few more bullets, and we want some more smoke grenades, and we can get rid of those rockets and get these rockets in. And speaking of which, we should probably sell these small rockets, because when are we ever going to fire small rockets? The answer is never. Nine days for the general stores, 24 days for the large radar system. Let's wait. And wait some more. We have some uh, avalanche launchers, avalanche missiles, and heavy weapon platform rockets. Let us equip those to Sad Eva and to QB. There we go. And you get some rockets, and you get some rockets. Name the bullets. Unfortunately, I can't name all the bullets because we will literally be here all day. We will literally be here all day. More time is passing. No aliens yet. Clearly they must have heard that I was coming for them. But we have more people. First, we shall do some research. And we're actually going to split our research up. We're going to have ten people looking at the med kit, while we have ten people looking at laser weapons. The uh, engineers can sit around for the moment. There are two more names, so let's get ready. Who is this person going to be? The answer is... Fingusa! Congratulations! You have been recruited, and look at that bravery! You have 60 bravery. Let's hope that that bravery doesn't get you shot in the head. It might get you shot in the head. And finally, the last person for now. The winner is... Monkey Ninja 4. Okay. Congratulations. Also, yep, just checking to see if I uh, spot that correctly. I have. We're going to allocate you to Leon 13DM. We have you and you. We have four spaces left, and that is going to be for the heavy weapons platform when it arrives. I'm pretty sure I bought one. I hope I bought one. It would be a little awkward if it didn't arrive. There it is! Ha <laughs> ha! We shall uh, equip the craft with the... Uh, oh yes, it actually needs to go into the equipment, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Perfect. We now have a tank. A rocket launching tank. It actually uh, doesn't launch rocket launchers. It just launches rockets. So now, more waiting! We have completed research on the basics of laser weapons. View report. There is no report! We do have laser weapons, though, that we can work on. Shall we figure out how to work out the basic pew-pews? That we should. Pew-pew! Pew-pew! Onwards. The aliens are terrified. They haven't come to get us. What we should probably look at are some graphs for UFO activity in countries. 
the aliens are apparently doing something nearby. We just haven't detected it yet. And somewhere else, too. They are also up to stuff in Italy, it would seem. And over in Africa. The aliens are up to things, we just can't see it right now. Because our ability to detect UFOs is rubbish. Speaking of aliens... We have one. It's landed. It's in the dark. I'm not taking it on in the dark. No way. We are going to intercept with Leon 13DM, and it should be day by the time we get there. Alternatively, it might take off. And if it does, we will send our interceptor to deal with it. We are not having a night mission as the first mission. And of course it flew away. Darn it! Go to the last known location, please. Uh... Yeah, go to the last known location. Okay. Much sadness was had. Ooh! No, that's the uh, waypoint. I was about to say, is that where they are? But no, we have lost them. Ah well, we'll just uh, go back. False alarm! We really should have... Uh... Yes indeed, the aliens are messing with us. Didn't want a night mission as the first one. Oh no, that would have been really bad news. And still we wait. General stores are complete though, which means that we can now uh, get more things. We should probably get some more... We should get some Electro Flares, for sure. We should also get some Stun Rods as well. More guns? We don't need more guns. Okay, we actually do need more guns. Let's get uh, a replacement set of rifles and some rifle clips. We shall also get uh, some more Avalanche Missiles. About another 20. And we should get some more large rockets. About another... 12? Marvellous. And we could build something else here. I am tempted to get another, uh... Living quarters so we can get more scientists working on things. But we'll wait for the moment. Time goes by. We get all that stuff. We should allocate some of that to the, uh... Leon 13 DM. This is when there are no more aliens and we just lose. I'm sure it'll be fine. More boom? Always more boom? If I leave and come back, am I still eligible for the raffle? Just need to swap devices. As long as you comment, it should be fine once you get back. The chat is so active, it's hard to get comments to Kiko. I can see them. There are some more missiles. We need more aliens. Ooh! That's more like it. Okay. Let's go. If it's night, it's night. But I don't think it will be. Landing Site 2. Begin mission. Explore landing site, and if possible, gain entry to the UFO. Mission will be successful when all enemy units have been eliminated or neutralized. Recovery of UFO, artifacts, and alien corpses can then be initiated. To abort the mission, return XCOM operatives to transport vehicle and click on the abort mission icon. I've got some bad news for you folks, uh, Edna and Harvey are piloting uh, Leon 13DM. Somebody actually had their ejector seat go off during the flight. But you're okay, you didn't take any uh, damage from that, you were wearing your helmet. Now, let us uh, get some soldiers ready for combat. Everyone appears to be pretty well equipped with stuff. You have a, uh, a reload, a grenade, a smoke grenade. You have a uh, reload and everything. We don't need the uh, electro flares right now. We're gonna give the rocket launcher to somebody, though. Now, who is strong? That is the thing. Who is very strong? The answer is the strongest person by far is... Pondwater and Cindy Pool. Congratulations, Cindy Pool! You... are the rocket launcher person. You have the rocket. Now, whatever you do... Don't fire it at, uh, 
at us. You actually can't carry very much, so we're going to have to uh, drop all of this and, uh, well, if you're going to be overburdened, you might as well be overburdened a lot. I think we're pretty much ready here. Are we ready? Also, we should save that uh, you have the rocket launcher. Let's go. Turn one. The tank moves out first to assess the situation and will probably get exploded. Yes, the tank is piloted by the always dependable Captain Useless, well known for being useless. We should, uh, right, we can fire an aim shot and a snapshot. We should definitely uh, have enough for a snapshot. Out you go. No aliens? No aliens. Okay. There could be aliens in there. There could be aliens in there. There could be aliens behind us. There could be aliens everywhere. Let's move forward a tiny bit more. And get Alien Cabalion ready with the smoke grenade. We are going to uh, prime the grenade for zero. You are going to step out. You actually can't because we reserve time for the uh, snapshot, so uh, actually, you know what? We'll stay in here for now. We'll wait until turn two. Because we want all of the fire to be aimed at the tank. Just start shooting all willy-nilly. No can do, we actually want to survive this mission. Well, we've learned a few things. We've learned that there is a UFO here. We have also learned that there is an alien who is a terrible shot. Right there. Okay. The alien tried to shoot the tank and failed miserably. We could fire an aimed shot. And I'm very tempted to do so. Shall we fire a rocket at the alien and see if it works? Very tempted to do so. Boom. We're getting boom here. Yes. Explode him. No. Someone is a bit worried that they're going to die. Let's go for it. Marvelous! We got our first kill and it was with the tank. Well done, tank. You have served us well. There's also some smoke now. Okay, Alien Cabalion, what I want you to do is go here, and I want you to drop this on the floor. So that we get um, a nice cloud of smoke to protect us. Captain Useless is indeed not so useless this time. I think we're good to go. End turn. Smoke. That was from the right. Okay! I think I know what happened there. Cindy Pool did a reaction shot with the rocket launcher from out of Leon 13DM. Just kapow! Straight into the aliens. Good work indeed. Never do that again, please. That was terrifying. There's a lot of smoke around now. You did indeed mean to do that. You certainly didn't just accidentally press the trigger going, I wonder what this does. Oh no! And then destruction and doom. 100% accuracy so far. Yes, we have actually uh, two out of two for killing aliens. Also, we can look over here and see that the map does not scroll very far in that direction. So I'm going to actually have the tank go this way some more. To be fair, it's hard to miss with explosives. Oh, trust me, you can miss with explosives. We have also found the alien vessel, and unfortunately, it is a large scout and not a medium one. I was hoping it would be medium, but it's large. All right, pond water, get out there and don't die. You're probably going to die. And, Cindy Pool, you're going to stay in the uh, Sky Ranger for now and just 
to be on the safe side, we are going to uh, zero out your uh, time unit so that we don't get a repeat of uh, the rocket incident. Also, 300 viewers! Wow! Thanks, everyone! I wasn't expecting so many people here! Can you move out safely? I think you can! You are out. And we shall have you crouch. Good old zero to use button. Yep, really should have pressed that uh, before, but then again, I'm kind of glad it didn't uh, end up that way. You know what are the worst turns? The worst turns are when you hear absolutely nothing. When you hear nothing, you have no idea what's going on. I'm not a fan of that. Hello, alien! How are you? Would you like a snapshot to the face? No line of fire. Can we force fire? Well, the good news is we have now made a perfect line of fire for the alien to move forward and shoot the tank. This is not what I intended, but... R.I.P. Fence indeed. That's how you miss with rockets. Two out of three. We know the aliens are over here, so let us make tracks over in this direction. Still being very mindful of the fact that the aliens could appear at any time. Any time. Go, X7 tech. Alien Cabalion could move up. We're going to use this building as cover right now. Seems like a good idea. It's probably not a good idea. Smoke is good! Smoke, uh, makes it so that it, uh, requires... Basically, it's harder to see with people within smoke. It increases the amount of distance between... Effective distance of visibility. It doesn't block, a uh, line of sight. It does, however, slowly deal, um, stun damage. So you don't want to be in smoke forever. We're actually going to have you run over to here. If, by the way, there is, a uh, an alien in that field over there frolicking about, we're in some serious trouble. So it's time for Cindy Pool to get out. And for somebody else to also get out. Desponia, you're up. The prices in this raffle are murderous. Indeed, they are. Let's get everyone out now. We need as many soldiers as we can, ready to deal with the aliens. Note that that one sectoid could wipe out the entire squad. The entire squad could die. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Well, the tank is still there. The tank is still there. The tank took no damage whatsoever. Now, if we make sure we have enough to use for an aimed shot, we can have the tank deal with a little bit more. Because we want this alien to go away. And how do we get aliens to go away? With rockets. Yep, that did the trick. That did the trick just fine. Permanently indeed, the alien is gone. Let's open the door. I know it's reserved for an aim shot. We actually want to, uh... If we right-click, we open doors without going through them. I remembered I definitely didn't have to ask somebody for advice on that. Let's move over to this door. Ready for the aliens. You're also going to peek out here and, uh, see if there are any aliens over here, Alien Cabalion. You sure you're not with the aliens? I mean, alien is in the name. Okay, I believe you for now. If only we could name the rocket launcher. We could call it Negotiation. Well, you could. Right-clicking opening doors is a Terror from the Deep feature, added by OpenXCOM into the first game. Well, I'm glad it's here. I'm very glad it's here. We're not going to have you run over there. That seems very silly. You're going to go through this uh, building instead. But we do have to be mindful of aliens over here. So, we're going to have Das Dardian 
go this way in preparation for going around and flanking. Hello, Blood Realm! Welcome! We are currently in the first of the uh, Battlescape missions. This is the second UFO. The first one got away. You are no longer in the ship, Monkey Ninja 4. I'm sorry. We, uh, moved you out. Everybody is out. Everybody needs some experience. Let's end my turn. It's turn five. Nothing happened. This tells me that the aliens are probably hiding inside the UFO. This is good for us, and bad for us at the same time. Paper Cup, bravely move forward. We're relying on you. Why are we relying on you? Greetings, hello, people that are uh, still appearing. We are dealing with aliens. How can you force a shot while the target is in cover? You hold down control, and you force the shot. Paper Cup is indeed the best soldier, by far. That 10 bravery is a testament to their uh, fearlessness. Actually, uh, 10 million bravery, it just wraps around in the uh, game's engine to uh, look like 10. Shaw sure knows a lot about the alien behaviour. I have played XCOM a lot, but the aliens will still surprise me every time I play. They will always come up with uh, clever tactics that I was not anticipating. I want you to go over here and uh, see if there are any aliens in this direction. And there are not. Go this way. Still no aliens? Crouch. And we'll get the rest of the squad to use this bush as cover. Paper Cup has become the new Barry. No, Barry is a lot more competent than Paper Cup, some people will tell you. Never leave a Paper Cup behind indeed. The aliens are probably less afraid and more confused at this point, I would say. Greetings, Silky Z. Welcome. We are about to end the turn and see what happens. Absolutely nothing. That's what happened. Alright, tank. See what you can see. The answer is nothing. Okay, absolutely nothing. There's pond water and paper cup. Paper cup is going for it. And paper cup is still alive! The aliens are indeed after all our paper cups. We should be afraid. We only have so many, after all. No one here. No one here at all. And I have that reserved for a snapshot that does leave you in the open. But then again, if there's an alien over there, I think uh, we have somebody else a little more in the open in the uh, form of uh, Dazdardian. I should actually move you a little bit further forward. No one is expendable indeed, but the paper cup is indeed disposable by the nature of being a paper cup. Alright, Cindy Pool, we'll get you over to here, and we'll get you. We can't run you all the way over. What difficulty is this? We are playing on experienced, because experienced can still kick my butt. Also, keep an eye on behind us. I'm still a bit worried that there is an alien in there. Okay. Someone is moving within the UFO. We heard the doors open. They didn't come out of the front door, though. Peekaboo! No one there. Time for you to uh, rush back over there. Let's see. Yep, green is a uh, time unit, orange is stamina, red is health, and purple is... Um, I think purple is morale. Yes, purple is morale. Expect that to plummet at some point when somebody dies. Is somebody going to die? Well, it's XCOM. What do you think? The answer is yes. Someone is going to get killed. Illyrium is indeed good to get early. We are going to endeavor to not blow up the uh, Illyrium generator. 
We are ruining house prices, yes indeed. But I think the people that used to live here are already quite dead. Don't shoot the Illyrium. Yep, it's exceptionally valuable. Very valuable indeed. I want you to go over here, Cindy Pool. No, Cindy Pool is not going into the UFO. No, definitely not. We can reaction fire in the UFO quite safely because the uh, Illyrium is in its own self-contained room in the UFO. They are constantly looking about, waiting. Endeavouring not to blow up the Illyrium, equips all interceptors with nothing but avalanches. Don't worry, eventually we'll uh, equip them with laser cannons. And then we'll equip them with plasma cannons. And that'll be the most fun thing. Imagine starting with blaster launchers and just sending in a couple of blaster rockets. I believe that would um, be uh, something called a... Uh, unbalanced. Perhaps a little bit overpowered, as it were. Alright, tank. Move up. Maybe the sound of your treads crushing all those flowers will get the aliens to look. No, nobody is dead yet. Although I really think that somebody will eventually perish. At the rate this is going. Okay. Just moving people forward, creeping forward. This is going to go terribly wrong. This is going to go so very badly wrong. You know it, I know it, everyone knows it. But Paper Cup is going to bravely breach the entrance. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, uh, X7 Tech, go back a bit, please. Gonna wait one more turn. They're still not popping their head out. Well, paper cup. No one. Okay. Coast seems to be clear. We're gonna move the tank out of the way because I don't want to reaction fire from the tank. That would probably be the worst thing since that incident many, many, many years ago in one of my LPs of uh, XCOM where the blaster bomb went off and killed everyone. We all know it. We all know it. Tanks can open the door. They can, actually. That is very true. They can open doors. Reaction shots from the tank would be bad. That they would. End turn. Well! Monkey Ninja 4! I'm sorry! You are the first casualty. Remember when I said idly, don't turn your back on there? Somebody is behind us. Somebody is behind us and there they are. That was unfortunate indeed. Now you'll never get to play the alien Wii. Indeed not. We have had our first death. And it was terrifying. Alright, we need a snapshot here. The tank can maybe avenge you. That was indeed a very impressive shot. That was me getting too overconfident. If we turn, you actually can't see, but I bet we could get you to force fire over to here. Alright. I don't know what I expected there, but you know what happened? We probably just hit a hill or a tree somewhere far off in the distance. Darn it. Alas, we have lost our first soldier. Good job, tank, indeed. Amazing. 100 out of 10. Yep, some guy just lost their house. Fire in vengeance! Uh, fire a bit a more accurately in uh, vengeance, please. That's more like it. Well done, Fingusa. You just needed a few shots to, uh, get your trajectory right. Well done. We're gonna get you to move now, because there may be another alien over there. There may be another alien. Okay. Paper cup, you're going in. We're putting you here. We're looking there. X7 tech, you're going in. We're putting you there. Das Guardian. 
You're going in. We're putting you there. And we're getting new people ready. And while I'm thinking about it, we should probably move you to somewhere a little bit safer. Like here. Can't wait to fly this ship uh, back to HQ. Indeed, we have to get there first. Right. End turn? I think so. Oh! Oh, I think that missed by the literal skin of the cup. The skin of the grime and the mold. Paper cup, you are so lucky. And also, X7 Tech, what a fantastic shot. Well, yes, the skin of the cup, because this is a, uh, an, a filthy, soaked and, uh, Generally crumpled paper cup. It is so covered in grime and dirt that the dirt and filth saved paper cup. And now we can shoot back. Look at that right there. Mission accomplished. I've got it set up so that when the last alien is killed, the mission ends. UFO is recovered. Paper cup has a use? I told you it had a use. I kept saying all the way through Edna and Harvey, it has a use. No one believed me. Proof is in the pudding. Six aliens killed, six corpses recovered, 12 alien artifacts recovered, one operative killed. Alas, we have a power source. We have UFO navigation, alien alloys, Illyrium 115, and a rating of 173. We have stat increases. Time units, stamina, hit points, strength. Cindy Pool definitely got a lot of uh, stamina there. And some accuracy. That is fantastic. We don't have enough to re-equip that smoke grenade. Fingusa has made sergeant. Congratulations, Fingusa. You are now the highest ranked soldier in XCOM. Lost in service. Monkey Ninja 4, zero kills. A moment of silence for the Fallen. Okay, the moment has passed. Let's go. We get back to base. We don't have an alien containment. That is actually something we need to build. Uh, alien containment, it costs 400,000. Let's start building that. And let us recruit another soldier to replace the one that was lost. I think that went adequately well. We also need to buy a couple of uh, things. We need to buy another smoke grenade. Let's just buy another 10 while we're here. We'll also buy some more rifle clips. Another 10 while we're here. Oh, why not another 20? What are you researching? Both laser pistols and medkits simultaneously. We should actually, once uh, one of those finishes, start researching the uh, alien alloys so we can get the armor. But, baby steps. Baby steps indeed. And now that I'm thinking about it, we should just uh, scrape off all of the, uh, the filth off the uh, paper cups and equip that as armor. That'd do by the looks of it. Becoming a, uh, ooh. Hey! Hey there, little UFO that's actually large. Uh, that looks like a terror mission. That does. Or it could be a supply vessel. Supply vessels are also large. You just go over there and, uh... And yes, are you sure that the paper cup was not just so smelly that the alien could not aim straight? That is also a possibility. We're just going to uh, pretend that nothing happened there. That could indeed be a, uh, a base being set up. Base could be being set up there. We'll have to go check that out at some point. For now, we got more stuff. We need to go and uh, equip the craft with more things. Uh, we need another... Two more of these. There we go. 
and we'll wait. Hopefully everyone is having fun right now. Jim Powell has appeared. You will not be Jim Powell for long. For you shall be renamed. Time to roll! Who is it gonna be? Welcome! Flappy Milk Bags. Hey, we've got cups, we've got milk, all we need now is coffee. There we go. You are now a new member of XCOM. Uh, when you asked what happened to the uh, person who uh, you're there that you're replacing, uh, everyone just kind of went a bit silent. So uh, the sergeant goes at the top because the sergeant, of course, is the uh, leader at the moment, and we have some squaddies. Which reminds me, we're going to have to build a new living quarters at some point. 400,000. We can afford it. We can afford it. Okay. Let the, uh... Ah! Looks like we are going to have a Terra mission after all. Well, it was Terra. Let's go! It's gonna be a night Terra mission as well. We are doomed. We are doomed. Well... I hope everybody liked being a soldier in the squad, but, uh... Hmm. I'm fine this evening. The squad... Less so. I don't think I... Yes, I did in fact equip Electro Flares to the, uh... To the Sky Ranger. They are here. It's a good thing I did, because if I didn't, ho oh ho, that would have been bad. So, the uh, general objective of this terror mission is not to die. That is the objective, not to die. And while I'm thinking about it, uh, Fingusa, I actually want you to have a smoke grenade on hand that is already primed. Something I always forgot to do in the replay. You can hold control and click an item to quick equip it. I'll remember that. Okay, it's night. We are likely to be killed by aliens. What does Ace and React mean on my screen? Not a clue. Not a clue. Let's go out. Good news, everyone! There's a civilian! They're not dead yet. Keyword... Yet. Okay, Fingusa. What we're gonna have you do is uh, double check that the grenade is primed. Yes, indeed. The grenade is primed. You're going to drop it on the ground, and then you're gonna crouch. And while I'm thinking about it, we will actually have you throw this over to here and get a bit of illumination. What's that? Kikoskier employing strategy? It's not as strange as you think. Crouch. Electro flare? What's over here? No aliens! That is encouraging! And finally, can we get X7 tech out here? Uh, not reasonably. This just in. We are going to perish. Everyone is going to perish. But at least there are no aliens immediately here. Now, the thing I'm worried about is that this is going to be a uh, sectoid terror mission, and thus we will have cyber disks to deal with. We're all gonna die. Well, you're not in the squad right now, Ghost Danny, so uh, you're not going to die. Gotta use the power of positive thinking. I wish that made things work. Well, we know roughly where an alien is. We know roughly where another alien is. We know for definite where one alien is. There are loads of aliens in there. That was the worst place you could possibly have ran to. 
because I'm pretty sure there's an alien over there. Pretty sure there's an alien hiding somewhere over there. It's a floater! Okay, not so terrifying. Floaters are not as bad as sectoids. We can deal with floaters. Floaters are good. Floaters are good, they're not chrysalids. Someone is disappointed that it is not chrysalids and cyber disks and everything else. Floater rolls are good. Yep, floaters are indeed good. Right, your accuracy is pretty awful, though. Your accuracy is pretty bad. If we give you an aim shot, it is 50%. Do we go for the coin flip, or do we go with the uh, 3 and 20 three times? I'm tempted to go for the coin flip here. Or we could go for 1 in 4... A lot of times. Three times. One in four three times, or 50% once. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go with snapshots. That was a good one. That was also a good one. That one was a very good one. Congratulations, Paper Cup. You live to die another turn. Go over there, please. The tank is going to uh, head in this direction and see if it can draw some fire. Floater is not dead. No, the floater is unconscious. It's very likely that the floater will die from blood loss. We didn't hear a scream after all. Tank, tank, tank. He is a tank. He's going to get shot. But what can you do? Okay. What we want right now is X-Tech to uh, appear. We want you to go over to here. Get your Electro Flare ready. If you had medkits, you could stabilize the alien, couldn't you? I mean, we could. I don't want to, and we don't have alien containment, so it wouldn't matter. Greetings, uh, Dark Creon. We're finding aliens! We don't want to find aliens, but we are. Okay. Cindy Pool? You're coming out of the, uh, of the craft. You are armed with mayhem. That's right. Mayhem in rocket form. And we are definitely going to, uh, zero out those, uh, time units. Elite of Alien, you over here. We know there are absolutely loads of aliens in here. I'm very tempted just to fire copious amounts of rockets into that and uh, be done with it. Yep, there are aliens in there. They are currently really angry at the prices. There's a Reaper! The Reaper is getting close up. I wouldn't run to where we are, civilians. This is not a good place to be. This is a really, really bad place to be. No, no, they're all rushing over to here. To be fair, it makes sense that they're rushing over to here going, ah, It's people! They've come to help us! Do you really want to run over to the massive monster? You probably don't. The good news is we have lots and lots of people who are armed with guns that can shoot the Reaper. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to ready for a snapshot. Move the tank over to here. A little further. There's a civilian there. That makes dealing with the, the uh, floaters in there a little bit awkward. Change of plan. You're going to go over there instead and uh, scout out a bit more. Well, the good news is we have found some aliens. The bad news is we have found some aliens. Hmm. Right. First step. Deal with the Reaper. Auto shot is fine here because the, re the uh, Reaper is a 2x2 two two target. <laughs> Eventually, we'll whittle down this Reaper. 
in theory. Okay. Paper cup. It's your turn now. There we go! The Reaper is not dead. Something to keep in mind. And indeed, plink, 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 go the, uh, bullets there. Okay. Hmm. I'm just sort of thinking. Don't want you to get too far away from the, uh, center of the smoke. Definitely want you to zero out those, uh, time units. Don't want you to fire. And unfortunately, we can't get you to fire. Hmm. Don't want anyone else out of the, uh, vessel right now. Really don't. We know there are two or three floaters in here, but we also know there are two floaters in here. One of them is armed with a pistol, the other one is also armed with a pistol. Just make sure to shoot the aliens as I drink this wonderful coffee. Would offer, but you know, officer duties. It's okay, I don't drink coffee. You can have all of that that you like. You know what? I might just have you randomly start firing at the, uh, you know what? Let's just have you randomly start firing. It's not gonna work. I mean, those went absolutely wild, but hey, could have hit something. Go for it. Well done. You hit the railing. It was very ineffective. We're gonna wait. The tank is under fire, everyone. That, uh, floater is too concerned with shooting civilians. Moving closer. You got another good shot there. Indeed, streaming is, uh, very unusual. Do I use aim shot? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Uh, this is not one of those times, though. I really want to just fire a, uh, rocket right here. Let's make a line of fire, and then we will fire a rocket right there. Yeah, here seems pretty good. That was not where I wanted you to go, rocket. When you said here, did you mean up in the sky? No, no, Captain Eustace! Firing to the sky! Woo! Well done. If you could get out of the way, please. Oh, there's another Reaper, everyone. Hurrah. Now, we could fire a rocket right over there, but we actually don't have enough uh, time units for a fully accurate shot. It would be a absolute just fire off the rocket and hope that 28% accuracy does the trick. I'm a bit scared of doing that. I'm very scared of doing that. Yep, so overburdened that um, aim shots are impossible. I know. I know they are. Right, uh... Hmm. There are so many enemies that we need to uh, deal with here. So many. Okay, X-Tech. Maybe you can get some shots off at the, uh... At the Reaper? One of them hit! One of them hit! And you shot the plane we came in. 100% shots, actually 100%, uh, no. If this is Kiko just playing, what does he edit? I'm not editing anything right now. Uh, sometimes I edit out uh, audio uh, errors and uh, like video uh, snafus, like when things get a little bit distorted or something. That's what I typically edit out. I'm really wary of just having uh, Cindy just fire. I mean, I could have Cindy just fire. Shall we have Cindy just fire? Just, just snapshot over into here, into oblivion. People are saying do it. People are saying fire. Yep, people want me to fire. Okay. We've made that massive uh, smoke patch a little bit bigger. The good news is, once we arm another rocket, uh, Cindy is no longer overburdened. That's... progress? If we move you over to here, we can have some more shots at uh, the Reaper here. 
not there. Okay, never mind, you actually can't see. It's probably a good thing you can't see. I want you to... go over to here. Late, but you made it! It's okay to arrive late, as long as you are here to see this terror mission that is going on. Oh dear. I could say this is going well, but let's be honest here. Is it really? Also, we could uh, have you throw this next time. Good plan. Well, there goes paper cup number one. I don't even think that shot was aimed at you. I think it was aimed at my tank. I know, paper cup has gone. It's okay, we have a limitless supply of them back at base. We'll just go and get another one. Okay, we have... The Reaper has gone. Okay, the Reaper has gone. X-Tech, we're going to have to get you to take out this floater. When I said take out the floater... You got a hit? That's good. That's progress. Alright, let's get somebody else to shoot the floater. You can see the floater from here. Okay. That's not the, uh... Okay, the third shot was nearly aimed at the floater. Nearly. This floater is never going to perish. Not at this rate. Not at this rate. We want the tank to... The tank can see that floater. We actually want to see... There's what we want to see! The Reaper. And that prompted a fair amount of reaction fire from over here. From this floater. The tank is pretty good right now. If only everyone else was doing as well. Alright. Load. Now, we could have a 22% accuracy shot at this floater. Everybody is just going to say fire with the one-handed rocket launcher launch. Okay. We didn't hit directly, but it worked. It worked! Got him indeed! Cindy Pool is doing very well here. The problem, however, is this floater. This floater is an issue. An issue we have to contend with. We may have to fire past the civilian. And I don't like that. Maybe if we get you here. Okay, pond water. We're relying on you. Perhaps it was a mistake to rely on you. Yep. Definitely a mistake. Okay, who else do we have available? Das Dardian? If we get you there, you can get a, sec a, a selection of auto uh, shots off. By the way, we are very well clumped for a grenade here. That's how it's done! Much better! Well done! Few indeed! The alien is gone. And greetings, uh, Victor A Avia. I can imagine the commander looks in, he just fire all the explosives at the German area. If you can't hit uh, directly, just flatten everything. We can blame the aliens afterwards. That sounds pretty accurate. I could see them doing that. Well, alien chameleon's dead. <laughs> we learned something from that, though. There's an alien over there. Oof, indeed. And whoops, we've lost another brave, brave soldier. Alas, time to move forward. Send in Cindy. We can't send Cindy in for everything. Oh, shots fired at the tank. Shots fired at a civilian. Shots fired at the wall. And that civilian who somehow survived 
We can build alien Cabalian, make them stronger and better. Perhaps we can. But right now we have the minor problem of shots coming from over here and shots coming from over there. Okay, first things first, load the rocket. Second things first, or second rather. Throw that a long way. You can throw exceptionally far, Cindy Pool. Wow. Third thing. Move the tank. Reveal an alien. How much is that alien through the window? The one that's about to get shot. Apparently, it's too expensive for us. Darn it. Yep, alien lived. It's not good. That was the alien, by the way, that shot alien Cabalian. Hmm. Really, indeed, the aliens can be that durable sometimes. They really can. But if we move the tank over to the alien, there's a good chance that the alien will focus on the tank. Now, I want to move somebody over to here, but doing so will get them in the line of fire of pretty much everyone. And while I'm thinking about it, Desponia, we need you to throw this as far as you can and illuminate that area. What are the aliens made of? Conditional Indestructium. Or Pigeon. Yes, indeed. Pigeon. Fingusa, I need you to ready yourself to take a shot at that alien if it dares move forward. Availing that, the tank will end up just uh, shooting again. I really don't want to move too far forward, because if my soldiers move beyond the smoke, we are going to uh, have a problem. I'm going to end turn again. Oh, wow! There is someone over there who does not like our soldiers who went, Hey, you know what? I'm just going to shoot you from all the way over there. That was quite a shot. Quite a shot. Well, we know that now. So step one is just fire at this alien here. Good news! We got a different alien! Bad news, we didn't get that alien. This alien is... is something else. Alien, stop it indeed. This alien is never going to die. It's just going to keep living and keep surviving everything. Oh, oh we could all... Oh, yes. We probably just killed the uh, Reaper that was unconscious. That's probably actually what happened. Now, could we shoot through the wall with our shots here? Give it a go. Actually, you're out of ammunition now. Fortunately, you have a reload. Got to actually be careful with that. Okay, Desponia, you're going to scout ahead. See if we can find any aliens. The answer is no. We know that there is an alien over here somewhere. And you're in danger. So, you get to go around the corner and not die. That seems like a good plan. Okay, we have three more rockets. You are definitely going to die next turn. And actually, just thinking about the fact that that uh, Reaper is getting quite close to where we are, I actually want to back up the uh, soldiers here and uh, get ready for the laser fire. Or well, the plasma fire, more accurate. Okay, the good news is the tank is still alive. Very much so still alive. This is good. Actually, that uh, alien is armed with a rifle, and wow, the amount of damage that we have barely taken. we barely taken anything. I am very tempted just to back up the, uh, the tank and shoot. I have had enough of this alien. This alien finally goes down. Three rockets. Three. We only have two rockets left. Cindy Pool, go over there. X Tech, further forward. We know roughly where 
another alien is. End turn. Well! Oh ho! We're running out of aliens, folks! And even better, I believe we have a rookie that is no longer going to be a rookie. Congratulations, Desponia! Two direct shots. Basically, yes indeed, uh, uh Neil Corp, you stop that. Stop that right now. What you are doing is silly, and you must stop. Okay. Well, there's an alien over here. There's an alien down there. You know what? We know how to deal with aliens. We fire off into the uh, edge of the map and beyond into infinity, clearly. Clearly that is what I meant, game. <laughs> oh, Tank, sometimes you just do so well, and other times that happens. Oh dear. Void shot indeed. The shot is gone forever. We will never see it again. It is no more. We have one more rocket. I think that literally is the last alien. I think that's the last alien. If we go over here, we can't see it. We still can't see it. We still can't see it. And I'm glad that was a civilian, because if that had been a uh, floater, that would have been a sad time all round. Alright, Desponia. I want you to rush over to here and see if we can see any other aliens. No other aliens. Okay. That's good news. It's good news. There's an alien! There's that floater! We still have a few civilians. A few. For those that don't know, the uh, green bar here is uh, time units. Then we have stamina, which is yellow. Uh, red is health, and purple is morale. There are indeed only a few aliens left. And as much as I'm tempted to just fire away here, I get the feeling the tank might die if I do so. So I'm actually going to move the tank past the alien. And let X-Tech deal with this. You can see. Can you shoot? Not from here. You can from here, though. Go for it! You went for it. I will give you that. And you went for it again. However. However. All right, does Dardian. You get to do some shooting here. And that did not go so well. Back to hiding you go. And if I get you two here, we can get a few shots from Pondwater. More Dacker indeed. That was good. However, the uh, floaters are made of sterner stuff. Very stern stuff. All right, if we get you here, Fingusa, 22% accuracy. So close with that uh, third shot there, but we can't risk another shot. You're going to have to go there. Now what I want you to do is find that other alien. Last rocket. Went straight up into oblivion. Oh well. Now the tank is a glorified scout. The tank is probably in some trouble. We may be about to lose the tank. If I turn you this way, we can see the alien. The alien is there. I wonder. I wonder. Could we do a shot from here? with Desponia. Oh boy, indeed. This is... 
No, the angle's not right. The angle is not right at all. Could the angle is not right? We're not doing that. Uh, could you take some uh, blind shots? That is actually a good question. Could you take some blind shots at the uh, alien? You can see the alien. The alien is there. You probably could. It would be a bit tricky. However, you did land a single hit. And you nearly hit again. That is commendable. Now I'm going to move you into the smoke. This gives you the best chance of not being spotted. Today on How Not To Be Seen... A moment of silence for the tank. It is gone. We have lost sight of the alien. Both of the aliens, in fact. This is not good. This is very not good. We don't know where they are anymore. And our smoke is starting to dissipate. We were doing so well. Now we're in trouble. I want to actually move you behind the railing. There is a small amount of cover to be gained from the railing. We could move you in. There are so many things we could do. The question is, should we be doing them? We know that there is an alien over there somewhere. And we could just fire a rocket blindly down here, but there are so many things that could go horribly wrong. There are so many things that could just go horribly wrong. We need a better angle. That's the problem. We need a better angle. Fingusa? We need a better angle. You're going to provide it for us. Eventually. But now we need you to move further into the smoke. Morale is okay right now. Our morale is pretty good. It's pretty good. Also, keep forgetting to zero that out. Also, I keep forgetting that we have two more soldiers in here. <laughs> Don't think you're going to be safe! Come on out! We need the firepower. You're the new recruit! You'll love the prospect of getting into combat! Let's go. There's a shot out of nowhere. I think there might only be one alien left. I think the alien... Yes, the alien that was over here could very well have uh, succumbed to their wounds. Which means... There's only one target to go. The downside is we have to get close to the target. This is going to be tricky. Or we could illuminate the target by using... Okay, we don't actually have many of the, uh... things here. Fengusa? We're going to need an angle. We're going to need an angle here. And we're going to need you to move up. Not the best way to go through, but all right. Hey, how you doing? Not dead yet? You are not about to die. You will be fine, I'm sure. Everyone's going to be fine. Disclaimer, you may or may not actually be fine. A surviving civilian. We actually have a few surviving civilians. And by a few, I mean uh, two? It's better than none. I want to hide you behind the bin. Oh, there's a third civilian right here! Enter. There you are! Are you just deciding to go for it? Because if you are, that wasn't a very smart decision. That wasn't very smart. In fact, do you know how not smart it was? That's how not smart it was. Unfortunately, that was not the last alien, everyone. There's still another one. Mayhem, indeed! But there's still another one. There's still one more. Where is that final alien? I bet the final alien is over here somewhere. Probably. 
These terror missions can be terrifying. Get it? Yay, terrifying! Okay, let's uh move you over to here. That was indeed a very terrible pun, but it was very appropriate. I'm getting booed! I'm getting booed for the amazing pun! It was quite amazing. Hmm. Your smoke is running low. Okay, wherever the last alien is, they are not doing anything. They are not doing anything at all. Alright. Go out there and find that alien. There's the, the last alien. Fire. You got off a hit, and that's more than I was expecting. Time for you to run away. And I want you to pop out here and see if we can get some shots off. There's another one, folks. Oh, oh, there's another one. Just when you thought the terror mission couldn't get any more terrible. You go, is it over? Nope, it's not. There's more. All right, Desponia, find me that alien. The alien is not here. Well, we should have actually grabbed that uh, electro flare while I was thinking about it. There's all this area here that we've not yet explored. And we are getting closer and closer to turn 20. Why is turn 20 a bad thing? When turn 20 happens, I believe the aliens immediately are informed of the location of all of your soldiers. And rest assured, that is not a good thing. We don't want that to happen. We don't really have much choice. Yes, uh, turn 20, the aliens start cheating. Some people would say the aliens cheat from the very beginning. Are we dead yet? Not everyone's dead. We've lost a few soldiers? Not all of them? Not by far, actually. Also, I need you to load up your final rocket. No more rockets after this. <laughs> We know where the final alien is. The final alien is over there. Right. Let us converge on that location. Which means we know where to throw this. This goes here. There's a building there, isn't there? Yeah, I think there's a building there. That's what's blocking our view. Go back over there, if you would. Keep saying final alien, and I think each time you say that, another one spawns. That's not how it works, fortunately. There are only a finite number of aliens. I want to wait one more turn. You are aiming over there for... My soldier, you're aiming for Desponia. Well, you know what? We have something that we can fire back. We know that you're roughly over here. And you will remain roughly over there. Because that did nothing. That did nothing at all. Okay, there's Ponia. There's a bin over here that we can use for cover. This bin, actually, this tree is a much better piece of cover. It's much better. It was a skill shot indeed. We are playing for the super long game, and I clicked that civilian as if that civilian was actually a member of my squad. That is not the case. Okay, Bahamut, Zero Dragon, you're going over here. It's okay, you're perfectly safe. There's a giant lamppost in the way, and we all know that lampposts are indestructible. Indestructible. Okay. You're gonna come out of your hiding hole eventually. Or you're just gonna keep shooting the civilians. That could happen too. We need to get closer. Okay. This is a. Oh, there are buildings here. That's the problem. That is the problem. Right. Over here you go. Where is that final alien? Somewhere over there is the final alien. We need visibility on there. We're getting closer. 
Slowly inching our way. I believe the final alien is somewhere in this area. Somewhere. X Tech, you can't get there. Have me duck. If I have the TUs for it. Do you have the TUs to duck? The answer is yes, you do. That is a sensible thing to do. You can indeed duck. Okay, there's no cover between here and there. That is kind of the problem. There is literally no cover. Well, thank you, uh, Mambarambo. I'm glad you like my videos. Can we goose? No, but the soldiers can probably die. There's the floater! We saw the floater, very briefly. Alright, we're going for it. Bahamut Zero Dragon, behind the bin. Still can't see the, the uh, alien. We can see the alien now. Go for it! Good shot! Oh-ho! Poor rating, admittedly, because minus 90, but... That could have gone so much worse, considering the fact that, uh... We lost some soldiers. We lost, uh two soldiers and a tank, but we saved two civilians. No civilians were killed by XCOM operatives, and we recovered quite a few artifacts. Look at the stats. Look at all of the strength that was gained. Sydney Pool gained five, X7 Tech gained six strength. Everyone gained strength, and that's because they're carrying things. But unfortunately, it wasn't all good news. It wasn't all good news. Paper Cup, an alien Cabalion, are gone. A moment of silence for the Fallen. Let's move on. We mitigated a lot of uh, negative points there. Have I played uh, Noita? No, I have not. Two people named um, Kikoskia named himself have died. Is this a sign? Possibly. We're going to recruit two more soldiers. And we're actually going to start selling things now because we need to make some money. So we shall sell a selection of sectoid and floater corpses to make 240,000. There we go. And we shall now purchase some more things. We shall purchase some... Uh, tank rockets and another tank because we need another tank. We shall also purchase some more I think a few more electro flares, a few more stun rods. We could always get more, you never know. We used a few of these. We uh, should get some more grenades just because we need some more pistol, uh, not pistol, sorry, uh, rifle ammunition. We should actually buy a pistol and uh, some clips for it for a uh, Cindy pool later and some large rockets we actually have loads of them I think we're good we don't have a lot of money right now we really don't have a lot of money but it is the 17th and we did okay and here is a small UFO that is flying around that we are definitely going to intercept sad Eva go for it Shoot it down. Now it is a uh, large scout. We are definitely going to go for a standard attack. UFO hit. Crash lands. Perfect. Now it goes straight into the sea. We lose anything that we could have got there, but we gain positive score for taking out a UFO. And that's what I want. Welcome to Atlantis indeed. That's where that ended up. And we got lots of things, which is good, because we need lots of things. Let us equip uh, Leon with more stuff. The pistol and the clips, just in case uh, Cindy can ever use them. Another Electro Flare. We don't need more large rockets, that's for sure. That will probably be sufficient. There we go. We're not doing badly. How's research going? Average and average. Wonderful. Advanced time. How do you think our effort's going so far, folks? I think it's going pretty well.
We have finished research on the laser pistol. The laser pistol is an effective implementation of new technology. It has the convenience of a pistol, with faster and more accurate firing. We can now research the laser rifle, but at this point I actually want to start researching the alien alloys, because these are extremely important. We need these because, uh, these are essential for armor, and armor will mean that the paper cup won't die as easily. But finally, our engineers have something to do. They can uh, manufacture some laser pistols. We can actually just manufacture them to sell right now if we wanted to, and gain some profit. But at the moment we want to uh, manufacture ten. One for each of us. Yes, armor! It does exist! We have more soldiers, and uh, I think I'm going to... Uh, these are ones... one of them is definitely going to be named by me. Because uh, I have always one, and we know what this soldier is going to be called. This one is as old and as filthy as the last one, and I bet it's just as useless too. Welcome, Paper Cup 2, to the squad. And uh, let's name, because I have uh, two soldiers, let's name another one. Actually, no. I think this time I shall. Re Ooh, we want a Gaston, do we? Well. That's a good idea there, uh, Thunderwalker87. No one's a rookie like Gaston. No one's a rookie like Gaston. We should, uh, assign these two, uh, recruits to Leon13DM. Welcome. Note that, uh, everyone is a squaddy now, with the exception of, uh, Papercup2 and Gaston. Time moves on. We have a replacement tank, which is good because we need that tank. That tank is very important. There we go. And now, time goes forward. Going for your run. Thanks for uh, being here. Happy to have you along. We have two laser pistols already. That we do. Don't worry, I will assign them if we have a, uh, thing to go to. Which we might not. The large radar system is complete. This is important because... Ooh! Medikit research is complete! The Medikit combines a healing facility with painkillers and blah 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 blah. Long story short, we can heal fatal wounds, we can restore energy, and we can restore the morale of wounded soldiers, up to an amount equivalent of the soldier's lost health. This is important. This also means that we can now allocate some people towards, say, even bigger pew pews. Good plan. We shall wait until we have finished manufacturing the laser pistols, and we have finished manufacturing the laser pistols. Now, these are not cheap, so we're actually going to have to wait until we have uh, got uh, more money from the funding nations. For now, we are just going to uh, assign some people to manufacture laser pistols for profit. And we shall now get rid of all of our rifles. The rifles are gone now, they have no more purpose here anymore. No more purpose. Let us, uh, equip something better. Pew pews are always better, aren't they? Of course they are. They're always better. Also, are we, uh... That is, uh, I believe, uh... Yes, infinity. There we go, that is right. Manufacture infinity of them, which will give us half a million profit per month. You are indeed correct. I'd forgotten about that. So, our ability to scan has improved slightly. This is good news. Time goes by. No more aliens. What is going on with alien activity? 
It's gone up quite dramatically. Yes, it has. But we're doing all right. Or are we? We have alien containment now, and we're about to have more living quarters, which means... more... soldiers. And more scientists. The Council of Funding Nations is generally satisfied with your progress so far, but the UK and Egypt are unhappy with your ability to deal with alien activity and in their territory and have decided to reduce their funding. As long as you get the monthly uh, rating within a certain negative, they're actually quite okay with you. We gained a fair amount of money. Our balance is now 2.97 uh, million. Living quarters are complete. Go to base. We have stuff to do. We have more people to recruit. We shall recruit a lot more scientists. We could just blow all the money recruiting 20 scientists and 20 engineers. And 10 more soldiers. That's literally what we could do. And then we get the uh, engineers to just start manufacturing laser pistols constantly. However, I feel like uh, being a little bit more conservative and saving some of our money. Just because we may end up losing the tank. Uh, I want to uh, just just keep things a little bit uh, more measured. We only have 2.9 million after all. So we'll get 10, 10, and 10. Medkits are indeed better value than laser pistols, uh, are they? Let's actually have a look at that. You might be right. Let's stop production of that and start production with medkits. If we were to get everyone working on that for infinity... Yes, you are very right! We don't need a tank anymore now that we have Gaston. Oh, I'm afraid you do. Also, uh, we're going to get some uh, medkits. That's what I wanted some uh, money for. Take 8 days and 18 hours to get medkits, which means survivability. I wonder if the council will be satisfied with Kiko uh, floods the black market with high-tech pew-pews. I'm sure they won't complain. I didn't actually know that uh, they were better. So we have a little bit more money, which is good. There is a UFO. It is over there. It is a long distance away. Can we get there with sad Eva? Probably not. Let's go and uh, troll that. Oh, no, no, not, not there. Ooh, you've actually found it again. Well, staying there actually was uh, advantageous. We're after you. It's a medium scout. Missiles! Missiles some more! Well, that was a success. We have... Another UFO. One more UFO to take out, I think. One more for this stream. We'll wait until it's a little bit uh, brighter, because we don't want to uh, go while it is uh, dark. Definitely not. Laser cannons are the most profit per price unit. Yes, they are very good. They are ridiculously good. You're going to just wait there for the moment. A little bit more. A little bit more. Now we shall go and deal with this. Groovy indeed. New mission ahoy! Crash site number one. Exercise caution. There may be operatives in the UFO or around the crash site. Mission will be successful when all enemy units have been eliminated or neutralized. Recovery of UFO remains, artifacts, and alien corpses can then be initiated. To abort the mission, just tell Edna that we need to go very quickly, and she'll say that there's no time to fool around. By the way, I am uh, waiting on... Uh, well, I'm not actually waiting on it, but uh, I did say that uh, there should be that remix of No Time to Fool Around, and it's not happened yet. I'm not actually anticipating that it will ever happen. But look! Laser pistols for everyone! This is the future, folks! The future of combat! And you know the fun part about Pew Pews. That's right. No. Ammunition. We can fire them as much as we like. Lasers for everyone! 
It will be amazing. Also, can uh, other people hold on to? Yes, you can have uh, these on your back. After all, you are gaining absolutely loads of strength. When do you dual wield? Uh, we're not going to be doing that uh, too often. Actually, I believe we can actually just uh, have these... Uh, Remind me, folks, uh, one-handed pistols, can we have the uh, stun rods? I think stun rods are actually counted as two-handed weapons, are they not? They are two-handed weapons? Don't remember? No. Stun rods use two hands. Yep. I'm going to go with the two hands because I don't want to uh, destroy our accuracy by... Uh... Yeah, people are saying there's a penalty. There's no penalty for using a stun gun rod and a laser pistol. Conflicting information. Going to err on the side of caution right now and look that up for another time. You can dual wheel blaster launchers. Let's not and say we didn't. Okay, tank. We're in a forested area. See what you can find. The answer is there's a floater right there. Well, you know what's happening to the floater. Rocket to the face. In vengeance of tanky tank the first. There's another floater right here. Boom indeed, payback indeed. Okay, Fingusa. Go down. Drop this. We could start firing right away, but I'm actually going to uh, get X-Tech uh, here to go and get a shot or two off. Is that actually a good idea, considering the fact that there is a uh, floater right here? I'm actually going to move you closer and get you over here. And I'm going to wait. One turn. One turn. Also, please don't have any shots uh, fire off from out of the uh, craft. You're going to float. And run away! That is what I was hoping would happen. You go, the uh, floater took one look at the tank and went, Oh no, it's happening again! Take that tree! Well, bad news for you. The tree sends its regards, and the regards are Zappy Pew Pews! That is a brilliant, brilliant first start for Zappy Pew Pews. I see a great and glorious future for Zappy Pew Pews. But then again, there was always a great and zappy future for Zappy Pew Pews. Good shot indeed. Now we need to get Paper Cup 2 out here. Paper Cup 2 needs to no longer be a rookie. Paper Cup 2 needs to become a squaddy ASAP. Just wait till Heavy Plasma's. Oh, yes, Heavy Plasma. It is a thing. It is a terrifying thing. All right. We need you to draw some fire. Oh, hello. We have a floater right there. How are you doing? Are you well? Good. That tree valiantly gave its life so that the tank might live. Brave, brave tree. You know what we think about uh, floaters, right? Yep, that's what we think about floaters. Hey, there's another floater right here. Can we get some shots off with the... Uh, now he can float no more. Indeed, very dead. Let's see if we can get some shots off with the laser pistol. And suddenly the floater was bombarded by zappy lasers flying out of the smoke and trees. And one of them killed the alien. I'll take it. I'll take that shot. It's a good one. And the chat cheers triumphantly, as well they should. Good zaps indeed. Now we need to move you two out the way, because we need to get Paper Cup 2... And Gaston! You want more Gaston? You're going to get more Gaston, Thunderwalker! Here Gaston comes! 
No one shoots like Gaston, no one loots like Gaston, no one gets shot by a floater like Gaston. He's probably going to get shot by a floater. I'm warning you now. In this panel, we see Captain Useless fire his laser gun wildly and effectively. No, 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 Captain Useless is in the tank. There is one alien left. All right, Gaston. All right, Paper Cup. Now's your time to shine. Who out of you is going to become a squatty? Just keep, just keep Gaston away from battlements, and he'll be fine. We've got to keep Gaston away from his own troops if the previous LPs have uh, any uh, precedent. There's one alien. There's one alien, and that alien is terrified. The first appearance of Gaston still makes my sides hurt with joy. Ah, uh, Gaston originally was a uh, mistake. I accidentally didn't name a uh, rename a soldier, and thus Gaston was born. Okay, you're still not moving. This is both good and bad. Let's get a little bit closer. Unfortunately, the uh, tank cannot open this door on account of the door uh, being right there. Okay, Gaston, move up. Open the door. Where's the alien? Where's the alien? I mean, we are very fortunate that the Illyrium is actually still intact. Will this stream VOD be on the main channel later? Of course! Probably not tonight, but definitely at some point. Right, we have the minor problem of an alien somewhere. Okay, the, uh, yep, the UFO took four missiles and is completely intact. And that just goes to show uh, how effective the uh, alien alloys are. And we're soon going to have armor made out of that. Okay, time to find the alien. The alien is somewhere, and Gaston and Paper Cup are going to find it. Behind the hill? Maybe. Permission to react? We'll... we'll see what happens. Alien alloys are pretty awesome. Alright, tank. Time to find the alien. Are you over here? No. Which tells me that you're probably over there. Gaston, get to a vantage point. Preferably one that you can shoot from. Aha! The alien has chosen to reveal themselves, and... They were destroyed by a withering hail of laser fire! I'll just poke my head over here and oh, I have made a terrible mistake. And then the laser field descended. Pew pew indeed. Yes, that does work. 158 points there. Five aliens killed, five corpses recovered, ten artifacts. The Community Sky Knight 85 is a fantastic one that I have and I am always, uh... It always makes me smile to see people enjoy the videos and content that I create. It always does. Fingusa has made Captain. X7 Tech is now Sergeant. Desponia is Sergeant. Dazdardian is Sergeant. And Flappy Milkbags, congratulations. You are also a Sergeant. Stop getting promoted, you fools. They can't help it, I'm afraid. They can't help it. Does that mean that we have more soldiers? Not yet, but we have soldiers on the way. Captain Fingusa. It's close to Fingus. The uh, goblin from Goblin 2. Just imagine all these extremely paranoid and nervous troops seeing something purple moving the bushes. Fire everything! It reminds me of uh, Rimmer, from Red, uh, Rimmer from Red Dwarf when the... Um, the shape-changing monster is on board, and they shoot at everything that moves. We need to sell some things here. We need to sell, uh, some more corpses. 
make some more money. Another hundred thousand. Pretty good. We could hire some more people with that. We could. We could hire another ten. We could actually just hire another ten scientists and engineers. Go for it. Seems good to me. We're poor again, but we're not going to be poor for much longer. We will eventually have lots of money. We've got to have money. Indeed. And here come loads of soldiers. I think it's probably uh, a good time to name some people. We have new recruits ready to replace the ones that fall. So, let's get the naming thing ready. The winner is... Um, I believe Takubi is already currently here, aren't they? Ah, here we go. Burndas brought B7. Burn... I'll, I'll need to uh, get the spelling for that. Because uh, it scrolled away too quickly for me. How do we spell it? Oh, QB's not a recruit. Weren't they? Uh, hang on. Burn D D A S Brot B seven. Oh, QB's the craft. Oh, well, in that case, you're very lucky. You are both a craft and a soldier. Double QB! Now, the next person. The winner is... Tall Panzer! Congratulations! Then we have... We can't have two Tall Panzers. Not having two. We already have one. Ah, there we go. Ghost Danny. And uh, so long, who, uh, who is leaving? Do not fret, for it shall be up eventually to be watched on my YouTube channel. Have a good evening. Now, there is another person. The RNG is primitive, but Thunderwalker. Do we have a Thunderwalker? I don't think we do. Thunderwalker has been talking a lot, and now Thunderwalker is here. You are in the squad. It's almost nine. Does that mean we're nearly done? We may roll over a little bit more, but, uh... Toll Panzer. Do we have a... I... Don't we already have Toll Panzer? Ah! Another person. Bindol is now in the squad. And then Toll Panzer again. I'm just waiting for that to happen. Just pull... Just, uh... Ah, Balfuset. Welcome. We have more people. Reporting for duty indeed. Not sure how much we'll, uh... Ah, we have more... Daydil. Do we have anyone else? We have two more people. Two more soldiers. More meat bags. We can't have two Cindy Pools. We can't have two. We have one. The squad can only handle one Cindy Pool. No, seriously. The squad can only handle one. We can't have another... Can't have another one be rolled up. Not right now. Ghost Danny. Have we had a Ghost Danny yet? We have a Ghost Danny. We'll... We have that too. Please, somebody else. We also have that one as well. This is, uh... This is random. It's about as random as the shooting in XCOM 2, uh, War of the Chosen. Okay, we have a new one. Uh, Furry Fighter 789. That's, uh, not how you spell that. There we go. And finally, 
One more person. How many repeats are we going to get this time? Cindy Pool, I know you're keen to fire the rocket launcher, but no! Ah, yes, I will uh, change the spelling in a moment. Uh, ah, here we go! Animex 75. And, uh, I have misspelt this. It is actually that. I even said it correctly, and then I spelt it wrong. Reporting for duty indeed! What a squad we have! What a squad we have here. So now, as uh, soldiers die, as is inevitable, we'll have rookies ready to replace them! Congrats, Anime 70... Uh, oh, it was Fury. Was it Fury? I keep getting it all wrong. Was it Fury? It was Fury? Yes. Fury. Got it right the first time round, messed it up the second time round. It's been corrected. It has been corrected. Chat scrolls by so quickly, it is really difficult to, uh, to get the, uh, thing going. But we got there. We've got there. We'll let time move a little bit more, but we won't be doing too much more here. Maybe we'll get one more UFO. Here are the scientists and the engineers. We can get these people working on things, like we can get the engineers working on this. So that, uh, it goes faster. And all this time that I haven't actually had these people allocated to research. That was kind of silly. Uh, let's get, uh, ten people on that. And we're gonna get ten more people on something completely different. Uh, hmm. What do we want? We actually have a heavy plasma. We could start working on that. We could get ten people to start working on the heavy plasma and just have it going in the background. Why not? All that research time is only a couple of days. Won't make too much of a, dis of a uh, difference. The medkits have been manufactured. Well, you know what we're gonna do now? We're just gonna start printing money. Forty engineers. Infinity. 1.2 million profit a month. I think that's a good idea, don't you? I think that's a great idea. And we shall allocate these medkits over to... Leon13DM. It's quite important that we have these here, so that, uh, we do not, uh, have people dying so much. Increased chances of death. The advantage of not being chosen is that you get to keep all the meat for yourself. Well, you're not gonna die, unless we lose where alien alloys have been researched. Alien craft are constructed from special alloys with unique properties. They are extremely light and durable, and can be moulded by electromagnetic methods. This material can be reproduced and used in many kinds of manufacturing processes. Well, we know what we're researching now with the utmost priority. Personal armour. We want that as quickly as possible. And while I'm thinking about it, there's something we actually need to do right now, and that is that we need to send out the, uh... Sky Ranger to go and check out, uh, activity. Because some places will have a lot of activity. And I want to go and investigate them. Europe had a lot of activity. North Africa had a lot of activity, and then it dropped, and then it went really, really high for some reason. And Siberia has also had a lot of activity. Hmm. Well, I think we have some things going on, don't we? That we do. And, uh, this place is closer. So let's actually go and check that out. Oh, that was XCOM. Let's go check out, uh, their activity. Yeah, our activity... Yeah, that was, uh, never mind. France, Germany, Italy, Spain. And I was about to go and investigate my own stuff. Hey, what's been going on here? Well, the answer is we've been doing stuff here, sir. Oh. Yes, we did, didn't we? Hmm. XCOM activity. Nothing happens. Yep. We're gonna go and check this place out for the moment. I just want to see if there's anything going on here. Anything? 
Nope. Nothing. The uh, Sky Ranger has a lot of fuel, so we can uh, send it out to go and... Uh, Russia and China had the most. That they did. So maybe we should go and check that area out after we've uh, stayed here for a little bit. Nope, nothing's happening. Okay, return to base. We do need lots of fuel in this, just in case any more aliens appear. Russia was probably the UFO you downed, and it could also have been uh, the same one as well, because it was sort of going over in this area. You are quite right, uh, Cav2K. Ooh, small, low, east, 2052. It's heading that way. Well, we know what we have to do, sad Eva. Away. Shoot it down. It's a large scout. And it's crash landed pretty much immediately. Pretty much immediately. Do we go after it now? I think we, uh, we'll give it a go. We're not doing a night mission. There is no reason to go in at night. We can wait until it is day. We can wait until it is day. Crash site 2? Let's pop in here quickly and see what we can do. That rhymed! We're a poet, but we did not realize we had the ability to make rhymes. Also, we don't need these right now. We really don't. Just imagine for a moment an entire squad equipped with, equipped with uh, rocket launchers. That is one reaction shot away from catastrophe. Absolute catastrophe. Yes, the med kits are important as well. Yes, thanks for reminding me. I always forget to equip those. You will need to drop something. Well, you don't need a grenade. I never remember to throw them anyway. It's true. Never remember. They're always there. Never throw them. You can't uh, carry anything just yet. Also, you're carrying two smoke grenades. That is being prepared. And I think we're good. Let's go. Okay, tank. Find me the enemies. And don't get blown up. Okay, we're in a corner. That's pretty good. What's not good is this uh, row of hedges. That makes finding the enemies extremely tricky. You know what else makes finding the enemies extremely tricky? Uh, more hedges. More hedges in general make it really difficult. Also, guess who forgot to activate the grenade? That would be me. I forgot. Fortunately, we should be able to uh, get you out of here and drop this on the ground. It wasn't like we were going to fire anyway. And this is when we were going to fire. Why do I always have you at the front, knowing full well that you are never actually going to fire first? No, 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 I, I take uh, full blame for that, Fingusa. 344 people. That's a lot of people. Okay, we know there's at least one alien alive. Uh, to be fair, we knew that because a mission actually happened. That can happen sometimes. You just arrive at a uh, crash site and it goes, well, they're all dead, and then you uh, immediately get the mission successful. Okay, it's over there. That's good. We can start making our way over there now. Carefully. Very carefully. Step by step and inch by inch, we move forward and try our best not to perish. And you're going to move really carefully. No, you need to keep moving. Because you're not going to have any uh, turn units left over. Uh, pond water, you're going to go over here. You're going to go through the orchard. I hope the alien isn't inside that building. Oh, the aliens are probably everywhere. I'm... Wouldn't be surprised if an alien was actually in the Sky Ranger already. Could happen. Desponia? I need to actually uh, reorganize all the rankings as well. That's something I definitely need to do. Imagine if I die now as a captain. Imagine the morale bombs. Everyone panicking, shooting each other in the back. Brings a tear to my eye. No, 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 there's not a sectoid behind the wheel, but there is a uh, terry cloth doll behind the wheel. I don't know whether you should be more afraid of that or an alien. No, I'm pretty sure uh, 
if the uh, captain dies, you'll all be fine. Probably. Maybe. Harvey's a way better driver. Possibly? Enter. That's a long turn. That's a really, really long turn. I don't like that. I don't like that. Long turns mean lots of aliens. Oh look! More buildings, everyone! Aha! A floater! With a heavy plasma. Hmm. Well, let's get started. Hmm. Well, I think we did well there. I think, uh, I think we did great. Congratulations. You, you found the aliens. There are two of them hanging around in that building. So, uh, this hay stuff of, uh, you ever seen it before? I don't know. Oh, that appeared to be laser fire, sir. Looks like XCOM are here. Oh, XCOM always ruining our hay investigations. We are not firing a rocket into them. Cindy is way too far away. Way too far away. We're gonna wait. No fire at, uh... Well, that's the end of the tank. The tank lasted a long time. The tank lasted a long time. Yep. One shot. That's heavy plasma for you. One shot. However, we can fire back. Lasers are really good at uh, dealing out lots of shots. Unfortunately, there's no guarantee that any of those shots will actually be accurate. So, let's see what Fingusa can do. Fingusa is, after all, our best shot. Uh, okay, actually isn't our best shot because that is 18%. One in five times will hit. That's not one in five. That's really not one in five. Half expecting. Well, that's the end of Fingusa, everyone. The morale hit was moderate. I'm sorry, Fingusa. You did well, but not well enough. You are the best shot. You probably are. Tragic indeed. Tragic indeed. Right, let's, uh... Let's move you over to here. Time for a new captain. Indeed. There is no saving that accuracy of yours. It wasn't... It was okay. Nobody's as good as a shot as Gaston. We'll see. You see, we did okay with the terror mission, and now it's this mission that's going to be the end of us. Okay, X-Tech. You know what's always worrying? When the aliens disappear, and you don't know where they are. That's very worrying when that happens. Gaston? You found the aliens! Good news! Now shoot them! Please shoot them? I mean, congratulations, you shot an awful lot of trees there. Trees are not aliens. Well, you tried. Now it's time for Das Dardian. We know where you are. Nope, no luck there. No luck there either. You have a one more chance, but I'm actually going to move you away and get uh, Bahamut Zero Dragon to have a go. It's okay, the, uh... You... Ooh! Hi! How you doing? I see you there. I see you there. Well played in your attempts to sneak up on us, but... 
I saw you there. Sneaky alien indeed. Sneaky, sneaky alien, but not sneaky enough. And even Paper Cup can get a few shots off. Well done, Paper Cup 2! You did it. The alien is gone. Now I'm a little worried about this way. And I was right to be worried about this way. Oh, I was right to be worried about this way. Always keep your eyes peeled on all angles. Unless you're absolutely sure that there are no... I know the alien's alive, yes, there was no, uh... There was no sound of, uh, death there. If we can complete the mission fast enough, we could get that alien as a captive. Downside, of course, now is that we have no tank to, uh, deal with all of the buildings that are here in between us and the UFO. So we're going to have to be very careful as we advance, and there is an alien somewhere around here that we lost track of. Somewhere around here is an alien with a heavy plasma. Oh, I, wait, that might actually be uh, that alien here, but we don't know for sure where that alien is. Got any smoke grenades? We have plenty of smoke grenades. We're not going to use them right now, though. I'm going to sneak forward. Use the trees as cover. And hope that we can survive. Alright, Dustardium. You spotted the alien. Excellent. That's not the alien. That's the building. That's still the building. I know you really dislike that building. I know you really dislike it, but... We need to deal with the alien. It's like you heard me, Dastardian, and went, Well, I better actually shoot that alien now. Congratulations. You have not disappointed in defeating the alien. Maybe all of the uh, soldiers have been emboldened. Look at how the morale has boosted up. Fingusa died and everyone went, What? Fingusa's dead? No! And then they all just started going into berserk mode. Okay, I think the only aliens left are the ones in the UFO. But I'm not going to be complacent here. We cannot afford to be complacent. We lost the tank and we've already lost our captain. The tank can be replaced. The captain can never truly be replaced. Going to move forward very, very slowly, and someone was indeed right. Uh, Paper Cup has not yet earned their stripes until they survive the mission. Let's move forward. The trees make great cover. All right, Paper Cup 2. Don't forget to check the top right corner of the map. Oh, don't worry, we are going to be checking pretty much everywhere. There could very well be an alien over there. Could very well be. We should probably get you out of the smoke. Just so that you do not uh, eventually collapse. Hopefully there's nothing in that top dark corner. Yep, I'm uh, hoping so. I'm hoping so. All right, Cindy Pool. Keep your eyes peeled on that direction. You too. More door opening sounds. Okay, we're going for here, Paper Cup 2. Okay, this is the corner of the map. That is encouraging. Because that means it's very likely that there aren't any aliens in here. No one? No one. Okay. I think we're good to go to here. Don't worry, Handy Boy got Captain Useless out of the burning wreck in time. He'll be fine once he gets the cast off. Indeed, Captain Useless will again pilot another tank. An unlimited number of tanks, I might add. Gonna move you forward, X-Tech. Or X-7-Tech, rather. Keep calling you X-Tech by mistake. Going to very cautiously move Cindy Pool forward. Eventually, Pew Pew Tanks! Oh, I do love the Pew Pew Tanks. They are my favourite tank. 
I know they're uh, remotely operated uh, in cannon, but uh, I like the idea right now of Captain Useless piloting the tank. Are we all moved? I think we're all moved. That's probably an alien constantly popping out of the uh, over the front door and checking to see if anybody is there. If you get a second tank, does Captain Useless's uh, German version drive the second one? I'd imagine Handy Boy would drive the second one, to be honest. They have 255 ammo. Yeah, they are pretty good, the uh, the laser tanks. Your aircraft have a monthly upkeep. The pilot is uh, probably included in that. That is true. When you make your own um, aircraft, then there's no monthly upkeep. Uh, because you made them yourself. No more time units. We're just going to uh, rush you over to here. No one overwatches like Gaston. No one is overwatching at all right now because we just need to get over to that UFO as quickly as possible. And deal with the floaters within. You're going to have a problem. Mainly the problem being that uh, there's no real good way for you to get over without uh, being in uh, the open ground. No one dashes like Gaston. I mean, dashing is an option. I prefer not to. It consumes more stamina, if memory serves. The aliens are indeed just shuffling about in the UFO, but I'm not going to take that for granted. Eventually, they're going to come for us. Here we come to. Move forward. X7 Tech. Forward some more. They're completing their detailed study of hay. Indeed, Tech Dragon. That's what they're doing. Um, I'm gonna have you stay out here, Cindy Pool. Are there any weapons that can destroy UFO outside walls? Uh, uh, blaster bombs can? I think there is a very low chance, um, uh, I think blaster bombs are the only ones that can destroy outer walls. Um, inner walls, I think, can be destroyed by high explosives, yeah, I think, too. Um, heavy plasma shots can do quite a lot. But I'm not sure they they can't go through hull walls. They feed this to horses, so it must be important somehow. Indeed. Okay. End turn. I'm very wary of moving soldiers very close. Because I know full well that they're there. Waiting, watching, scheming, milling about, waiting for turn 20. All of these things are happening right now. That's the sole reason they invade. They want to know the secrets of Hay. I could see that happening. Shoot all the rockets. We are not firing all the rockets. They cost money. If the ship crashed, they may have bailed out. Oh, I get it, Umbar. That's funny. Not even sure rockets can penetrate the UFO. Okay. Go around the corner. They're not there. Good. Go all the way around the corner. Well, I think we found one of them. I actually jumped there. That's why you never, ever presume that they're going to be, uh... They're going to be all in the UFO. So, um, Paper Cup 2 can't get back. So, what we have to do now is move forward and hope that Paper Cup 2 can kill this floater. And that's how you do it. Well done! That was very, very fortunate uh, there. I had no idea if uh, that was going to work. It usually doesn't. But maybe Paper Cup 2 actually is made of sterner stuff than Paper Cup... Oh, who am I kidding? It's Paper Cup 2. It's probably made of exactly the same useless, flimsy, filthy material as all the other Paper Cups. Here come the rest of the soldiers! All rushing forward, going, hey, when do we get armor? Can't we have conventional armor? No. 
No, you can't. You don't get conventional armor, you just get... this. Oh, they know that Paper Cup's coming. And they're afraid. Alright, Paper Cup, open the door. Well, we now know where some of them are. Pew pew! You can move over there. X-Tech, move forward. Take some shots. Three of them will do. Good shot! Excellent shot! Well done! Aliens killed, seven. Alien corpses recovered, seven. Artifacts recovered, 14. One operative killed, one tank destroyed. UFO navigation, alien alloys, RIP Fingusa. Stats. Cindy Pool actually gained nothing there. But Paper Cup 2, that's not a bad array of extra things. Open up, it's the paper beverage vessel. Indeed, Rofty. We don't have enough to fully re-equip these. X-Tech 7 makes Captain. You are going to have to step into some very big shoes. For we have a moment of silence for Fingusa. The first captain of XCOM. Let's move on. But what we need to do before we close up here is we need to get another soldier to replace Fingusa. And we also need a little bit more money. So, uh, let's sell a few things, like some corpses, and a couple of navigation units here. Add a Reaper Corpse. We don't need that many UFO navigations. We also don't need a f as many uh, plasma rifles as we have, so we'll sell those to make a uh, fair amount of money. It's important we have that money, so that we can get another soldier, and another rocket launcher tank. We don't have enough money for two of them. I only want to buy one. We also want some more rockets. A lot more rockets. There we go. Good. And we need to uh, reorganize the soldiers, because... We have to uh, put, uh, but we have to uh, first move the uh, captain up to the top. Then we move uh, the sergeants up. We have quite a few sergeants, like so. And burned das brot B7 is now part of the active squad. Welcome. We have, uh, how many laser pistols? Still ten. It's all good. We have lots of equipment there. Very nice. And I don't think we're doing too badly so far. Hello, Kiko. Am I dreaming? No, Death Raven 13 you are not. I think for a good start, or rather for a start, this is pretty good. We are in February. It's the 11th of February, and we have... Quite a few things that we can research. We actually have a lot of research going on. Laser rifles, heavy plasma, personal armor. We have, uh, first ever person to pronounce it correctly. Do not hold me to uh, pronouncing it correctly every time. I will probably get it wrong every other time. Medkits going ad infinitum to give us loads of money. Shall we wait for the newcomer this stream or start the next stream by one naming? We should definitely start the stream with another naming. The soldier isn't here yet. It'll take a while for them to arrive. Come on, lucky February base defense. I don't think that's going to be happening. Are we going to be playing other... Am I going to be playing other Ultimate games in the future? Probably. It's a matter of time, I believe, before another one happens, but... We, uh... We'll be calling it here, I'm afraid. It is February. There is plenty more mayhem and destruction in our future. And it will mostly involve being destroyed by the aliens. I take it that people want me to carry on and uh, do this uh, at some point in the future. We got a yes there from Demon Dragon. We've got uh, 
More yeses, more yeses. Well, in that case, what we need to do is save the game. Look at all of my LP saves, everyone. They're all there. Stream save one. It is saved. And when we come back, it may not necessarily be in the very next stream. I'm not sure if the next stream will be uh, XCOM related or if it will be more things like uh, Mega Drive games and things like that. I do want to uh, keep a little bit of variety, but of course I will ask to see what people want to see because I'm more than happy to do more XCOM. I'm also more than happy to do more things like uh, please announce when streaming at YouTube. I... Will you announce it on your Twitter? I believe it should have already been uh, announced on my Twitter. It should already have a uh, a um, a thing where it posts up to there. I mean, I put a video up saying that I would stream tonight. Yeah, I did on both. Yes, it, it streams on. It, it, the Twitter is a little bit of a delay, but uh, the YouTube thing, um, I put a video up saying it would uh, go up. Uh, half night, I believe, went up today. So, I will definitely keep you informed. You had a great time, I'm glad you did! Don't thank me, thank you for being here, because you made this possible. After all, you're the uh, soldiers. You're the base. You're the craft that we're flying in. The only thing we can't name you for is uh, the aliens, because uh, the aliens don't get names. And I really should actually go into uh, base mode here so that uh, seconds do not tick away, but seconds probably won't matter. But this is when the aliens come and so, folks, be it XCOM or a Mega Drive game for the next stream, we will definitely return to this either next time or the time after that. And so, folks, I'll catch you next time, and I'll see you then. Later, and thanks for coming to the stream. I'll see you next time, and have fun with the rest of your evening, slash afternoon, slash morning, whatever time it is. Later.